Hi guys, I thought I would quickly share with you, I shouldn't say quickly because it, ne it never ends up being quickly anymore, but I thought I would share with you some of the things that I used either on my face or on my hair this past weekend for the wedding. You know, it's always difficult when you go away and you want to try something new because you don't know if it's going to be a fail or if it's going to be a great item. One of the things that I ended up buying was this product that I'm going to mention. One of her friends and Facebook friends and Instagram friends had left me a message on my Facebook page and she said, Monica, you've got to, you've got to, you've got to run to Ulta before you go to the wedding and you've got to pick up this product. It works unbelievable, she said. So I'm like, oh man, I don't want to go to Ulta. You know, every time I go to Ulta, I spend money, I spend money, I spend money. So I was like, I really didn't want to go to Ulta. But she said, you must, must, must. So I ran to Ulta. She said, even if you get a trial size, get it. So I ran to Ulta and I ended up buying the Living Proof, Proof Perfect Hair Day Body Builder. And I'm so glad I listened to her. I really am. So I picked this up. This stuff is, this baby's pricey. It's like, I don't know, like 14 I think maybe $15 for the trial size. I'm like going, holy cow. So anyways, I picked this up and I was so glad I did. Thank you so much, so much Marge. This was like an awesome, awesome find. We left for the wedding on Friday morning. Thursday night, I took a shower, washed my hair. And Friday morning, I lightly styled my hair. And I didn't want to do much with it because we were going to be driving three and a half hours. And I knew once we arrived at our destination, I would have like a couple of hours of downtime time. And then I'd have to get ready to go to the top of the mountain for the rehearsal itself. And then back down to the bottom of the mountain to the golf course where the rehearsal dinner was going to be held. So we get up there and we unpack and get all re you know ready. And I wanted to kind of do something simple with my hair. So I ended up, the, the great thing about this particular product is it actually has a, you can dial it if you want more body or less body. Of course I had to have more body. So I put the dial on the more body and I spray. Now mind you, I had lightly curled my hair that morning. It was very, very loose and nothing much to it. So I sprayed it and I ran my fingers through my hair and I... I couldn't believe, truly could not believe that without having to use a bunch of other styling products that I was getting some varumph, some body to my hair. Now I've used a number of different texturizing, sprays, lotions, potions, motions, you, you name it. Some that was sent to me free for review, some that I've paid, I've used a number of them. This far exceeds any of them. And I had the least expectation, no matter what Marge said. So I put this in my hair, and I was able to get some really good body. So I took a curling iron, I curled a couple of things, I did some tease job, and then I twisted my hair up and I put it in a, a little glitterly pin, in the, you know, like in the back of my hair. I just kind of like, you know, pinned that up there. And then I got ready and I wore that top with um, the shoulders hanging, you know, with the loose, the cut out shoulders that I kind of showed you. So I'm going to insert a picture here of me with my mom, my niece, and her little daughter going up the gondola to the top of the mountain on the day of the wedding rehearsal. So we went up there, scoped out the place, and I'm going to show you a couple of pictures of the inside. It was just a, per a perfect, perfect place for a wedding. You know, the top of the mountain, the leaves were just starting to really turn and be pretty. It's not peak at all, but it was just enough to give you some really pretty color. The wedding was at 4.30 the next day, and so by the time they had some of the photos out there, the sun was setting. It's just exquisite, absolutely exquisite. And inside the reception hall, all of my niece's friends, uh, you know, they all, uh, many of them got together. They, they, the flowers, the arrangements, everything that was done was just absolutely perfect inside. It was so beautiful. So once we were done up top of the mountain, we went down, my mom and I went down the gondola ride and we went to the golf course where the rehearsal dinner itself. We were going to meet Jay and my dad there. So we were all going to where the rehearsal dinner itself was. And then after the dinner, Jay's son, Justin, who had arrived the day before, had come in 
and he joined us all after the dinner. It's a couple of pictures of him and Jay and his girlfriend Tamara. It was just really beautiful. The next day, everyone, the guys went golfing and the girls kind of had a veg time. Now, I did not want to wash my hair because I did not want to have that fresh washed hair because it, my hair is so flyaway, it would be awful. So my hairdresser had suggested I try Kenra Volume Dry Shampoo. So I bought this from her and I had also been using Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Dry Shampoo. So these, you know, this one I've been using for a bit. I, I'm, it's okay, you know, it's not the greatest thing, but this I think worked really well for me. But I did, you know, I paid, I don't even know how much you paid for it, but it worked really well. So what I did is that after, you know, a morning of doing nothing much for the wedding, Saturday morning, combed all my hair out, I dry, I dry sprayed that with a dry shampoo, and then styled my hair, and I used this texturizing stuff. I absolutely, absolutely love it. So I ended up styling my hair. I ended up putting more of my topic in because this was gifted me a long time ago via the Octoly Network, but this bottle I bought from my hairdresser. So I sprinkled that in. When you have thinning hair, Having something that you can sprinkle and just kind of fills it. It's an optical illusion, probably, obviously. But it just kind of fills in, you know, that that light area. And if you have thin hair like me, you know exactly what I'm talking about. My thick-haired friends, you, you have no clue. But, so I sprinkled this in, and it just gives you that feeling of confidence. Like, oh, you know, you don't have this gaping wide part, etc. So I sprinkled that in and then I took my curling iron and I curled my hair. I used this again and I did the more body side of the spray. I actually love that stuff. It was unbelievable. So those are the products I used for my hair. For the wedding, I twisted my hair up and I had more of a volume a bun, but a low bun, not anything like this. And and then I had little diamond accents that are kind of like little corkscrews that I screwed into my hair all, you know, throughout my head. I think I had like about four of them just strategically placed. And then I had my earrings on and my outfit for the wedding. I felt really comfortable. Here's a couple of pictures so you can see. I felt really comfortable in the outfit. I mean, I was the officiant, so I, I wanted to look good. I wanted to be attractive. But I wanted to be understated elegance. I didn't want to be over the top. I, I think I achieved that. I had so many compliments on my hair. I had so many compliments on my outfit. Even my shoes <laughs> got compliments. And then my earrings. So I had a lot of compliments and I felt I felt really super good. I had I was very worried, as some of you who have followed some of my Instagram stories, I was very worried about breaking into tears. And uh, yeah, I was able to control myself. I had a few moments, but I was able to pull it in and control myself. I wanted to make sure that what I had on my eyes was going to stay put. What I took was my It Cosmetic Superhero. I debated between the Essence Lash Princess and Purple. I really like that. The Essence Princess is just a nice, nice mascara, but I wanted to really super, super be comfortable in the It's the It Superhero I've used in situations where I balled my eyes out and not had a black smock mark. So this is what I took. My two eyeline pencils of choice is basically the Pure. I absolutely love this. It was gifted to me via Pure. Um, hmm, I don't know. A long time ago I've talked about it. I really love it. This is a repurchase for me. I love this eyeliner. But the one I chose to take with me was my Urban Decay. 24-7. This is Demolition. This is a really nice brown. I just know, you know, it's it's sort of like, in case I started to cry, I wanted my makeup in place. So that's what I ended up using. Uh, of all the primers, and I know some of you have known that I've been on sort of a primer, sort of the battle of the primers maybe because I wanted to have a primer on my face that might cover my veins a little bit and last a little bit so I have really been enjoying the Becca and this was gifted to me this is the Becca velvet blurring primer I haven't I've have been enjoying this and I grabbed this one a lot during the week I also bought an elf color correcting primer and I have a number of different primers but the primer that I 
grabbed, I took these two with me, the primer that I grabbed and used the entire time I was up there was the one from The Ordinary, the Hyaluron Silicone Primer. It just didn't let me down. I need to buy more of this. I'm almost out. It just did not let me down. And that's what I needed for that type of an event. And the other thing that I used over and over again, and I bought this, I don't know when, a long, long time ago. This is the Benefit. This is the number three, but this is the Industrial Strength Concealer. So this, this lasts forever. It really does. But I put this right where my veins are. Nothing hides my veins completely. Nothing hides them completely. I, I, you know, nothing. But that covers them. And then when, if I put a primer on, it sticks a little bit more to it. Sometimes I'll put some of the foundation over on top of it. And, you know, and then a, a setting powder of some sorts. That really, really holds. So I bought that a long time ago. It's a repeat for me. It did not let me down for the wedding. I absolutely loved it for the wedding. The two things that that I got that I didn't use for the wedding, one was, I was afraid to because this is the Ofra Peptide Brightening Face Mask. This was sent to me via the Octoly Network from Ofra, free in exchange for a review, review. Now I got this before I went to the wedding, but it was like, I was nervous about trying something new on my skin that I had not tried before. I didn't know if you'd break out, you know, just, you just don't know. So I didn't try this the weekend of the wedding, but I did try it when I, I came home. And <clears throat> I'm loving this. I really, really like this a lot. What I do is after I wash my, oh, I should say, if you're looking at my forehead, I had, um, I had a, 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 a bad thing removed. So I had, you know, pre-cancer type thing. They got it gone, wasn't basal. My dermatologist removed it just yesterday, so I'm kind of ugly looking with it. I kind of try to cover it up with my hair. But anyways, he got it all. He said nothing, nothing to worry about. Maybe in eight years or 10 years would have been different, but I caught it very early, so I shouldn't have any scarring, any impact at all. I had a basal cell removed here on the side of my head, and I have like a bald spot where that was my hair has never grown back into that spot and my skin is bone white in that spot so i was glad this wasn't like that because i'd be having a white spot so anyways this mask you wash your face you put this on you let this dry maybe 10 15 minutes and then you take it off and oh my gosh does it feel nice i wish i had done it before the wedding but i was just afraid to try something new so i am loving this thank you so much for sending this it's a it's a great thing the other thing that was sent to me, and this is pure, bare it all. This is like an all-in-one foundation. And I will tell you, this stuff is like unbelievably thick. I think I got, the, the color is off for me. I think it's too light for me. I had a hard time putting this on. It's very, very thick. It comes out. When you put it on, first I used like a, a, a damp and beauty blender type of a sponge. And I put it on like that. It just sat on my face. Then I used my It Cosmetics brush and I did much better. I just wanna read what it says. So I did much better with the It Cosmetics brush. So this is high performance, 12 hour demi matte foundation that helps cover imperfections and instantly perfects the skin while helping to correct problems areas. I will tell you when I got this and I was able to spread it, and I would say able to spread it. I don't know. It was really hard for me to do that. But when I was able to spread this all over, even though it was too light for me, it covered a whole lot. And I did use a, a lot of contouring. I did use a lot of blush just to kind of darken it a little bit. It, this lasted a long, long, long time. Now, nothing covers my veins all the way, as you know. I mean, I've been using this, I've been using everything. The way I'm gonna use it is I'm using this on my nose. And it says, let it dry really good before you even put clothes near it. And then after it dries, I'm gonna put regular foundation over it. And maybe even this. And that's how I'm gonna use this, this foundation. So bear it all. Yeah, very, very heavy duty foundation. I liked it, but just very, very heavy. The lipstick that I used while I was, I, don't, I thought I brought it with me. 
Well, anyways, the, oh, hold on, I'll go get it. I'm back. So the lipstick that I used was the 560 Sa Saucy Mauve. I really like this color. It's what I have on now. So L'Oreal 560 Saucy Mauve. I also like the 754, and this is Sugar Plum, but I like the Saucy Mauve better. And I topped it off. These are the only two things I really wore. And I topped it off with my Buxom White Russian. Again, you know, I could have taken my hard candy because I really like their glosses, but this is my favorite. So those are the things, and I hope you enjoyed the pictures that I sprinkled throughout, but those are the things that I used repeatedly at the wedding and that didn't let me down. It didn't let me down. I felt awesome at the wedding. I really did. I felt good about how I looked, and I felt doubly good about how the service went. The service was very, very personalized, and for me, very emotional, and it was just perfect. It was really perfect, and my niece was the most beautiful bride ever. And seeing the fall foliage around her and her husband when they posed for their pictures was just amazing. It's just really lovely. So that's it for me, guys. I appreciate very much you watching, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.